Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com um, That's my new site. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S3 under 5 minutes using your Mac OS X. Um, first what you want to do is hold down the volume down, power button and the center home button, three buttons, right? Just like that, hold it down for about 10 seconds until your phone reboots into download mode. You get a warning sign, hit volume up right here will be on download mode and connect it to your Mac OS X computer um, or Mac uh, uh, MacBook or anything with the OS X should work and uh, let me connect it real quick here and then next let's go to our computer Next, what you'll want to do is download a Galaxy S3 root mac.zip. Uh, if you download it, it will probably unzip to your download folder. Um, here we go, downloads, and uh, you should be able to see Galaxy S3 root mac folder there. Um, double click on Heimdall mac.dmg and uh, to install it. Um, and just go through the uh, process here. Just double click on it, and you'll see the package here. Install this. Continue, continue, and you will have to reboot your computer. Um, I already installed it, so that way I can skip the that part. And uh, once you reboot under Applications, you should get Heimdall front end. Simply run that. All right. And then what we're gonna do is basically go to uh, Utilities, hit Detect. It should say Device Detected. Um, if it doesn't, then Something's wrong with your uh, USB cable, or make sure you're not using a USB hub. Um, or sometimes there can be problems with Kext. Um, just go Google like Galaxy S3 Kext or Galaxy S2 because they're the same phone and try to figure it out. Um, once you've got that done, simply go to Flash and go to Browse and go, go to the folder you downloaded, uh, which is Galaxy S3 Root Mac. Um, there we go. And choose gs3pit.pit. All right, this is a pit file for Galaxy S3, and hit add, and uh, change this to recovery. Basically, we're gonna flash the recovery um, image of Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, with the Galaxy S3. Unlike the Galaxy S2, you don't have to flash a kernel to get recovery; they're separate, so it makes it much safer, very safe to do. And choose um, recovery here. So that's three steps. Add, change that to recovery, browse. It should look exactly like that. All right. And uh, just don't touch any of these buttons. Just leave it as it is. And just simply hit start. And this will flash the recovery, Clockwork Mod recovery to your Galaxy S3. So I'm going to hit start. Um, I'll have the phone here so you can see what it looks like. Um, if you get that, Make sure it's light in here. If you get that, don't worry. Just do. Um, sometimes it can be funky. Just do uh, another volume down, power, and then try to put it in download mode again. Sometimes you have to redo it. So you do that. Volume up again, and connect it back to your computer, and it should work this time. And uh, hit start. If for some reason it doesn't work, um, it's usually caused by uh, your Kext, uh, if you installed um, keys. We can fix this um, by opening, go to Utilities, Terminal, and uh, basically um, 
copy and paste these things um, here. Um, I'll have uh, I'll have these instructions below in the description, so you can just simply copy and paste it. Um, you have to enter your password here, and uh, there's a couple more lines you got to do. You can just copy and paste it. Um, just I'm just dragging it here, and uh, the third one. This will allow you to um, use Heimdall without interference um, from from your. Um, what is it? I'll show you just in case. There you go. That's what I wrote. Um, just in case it doesn't work like I did. And let's go back and try again. Um, it should work this time. There you go. There we go. And uh, it actually rebooted just now. And it's gonna reboot. Um, but uh, if you di didn't get the error and it flashed fine, then you're all good to go. Um, but just an extra thing, you can fix your Heimdall. So it's a good thing I made this video, otherwise man, you, you might be stuck. Um, so next, when the phone reboots, um, you can close up Heimdall here. And uh, next, connect it um, to your computer. You'll need Android file transfer. Um, I'll have links to how to install this also, how to make it work. Um, and you gotta put your phone in uh, as a camera PTP mode, as you can see there. I've got it connected as PTP mode. Um, and if you have Android file transfer program installed, it will automatically pull up your Galaxy S3 uh, phone and also the card. So I'm just gonna put it in the phone, um, do a right click copy on the CWM Super SU. This is the rooting files. Um, do copy and do a right click paste or paste it here. You can just drag it. But I already copied it over here. Um, that's all done and let's go to our phone. Next, what you're gonna do is um, boot into the new Clockwork Mod Recovery we just installed using Heimdall. Hold down the volume up, center, and the power button together. And keep holding it down. And uh, keep holding it down until you enter Clockwork Mod Recovery. And once here, it's very simple to do. You can install backup uh, restore ROMs and also install super user zip file. So go to install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button, and then um, actually, you know what? It's in my internal. Choose zip from internal SD card or the SD card, depending on where you put that CWM file. Um, choose that CWM file and say yes. And this will install root. Um, go back, reboot system now. And that's pretty much it. Um, it should give you full root with Clockwork Mod Recovery. Well, you just saw the Clockwork Mod Recovery. And this method is very safe. Just make sure you have enough battery, like, you know, I would suggest at least 50%. Um, most of hard bricks are caused by lack of battery in your flashing ROMs, or, you know, you've run out of battery and you didn't look at it. Um, so it's pretty safe. And now if you go to apps, um, you'll see super user app. Run it once. If the ASCII binary needs to be updated, simply hit continue. Uh, success. And uh, that's pretty much it. And now you can run like uh, rooted apps. Go try running, downloading in titanium backup. And you get the super user request. Um, there you go. So you can now um, root your Galaxy S3 in, in about five minutes. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S3, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com. We update you uh, once a week with tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email when you have trouble. Um, I do respond to my emails um, and comments as much as I can. And uh, also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me. Um, subscribe button up here if you have thanks a lot and uh, use that share button to share this with your 
uh, Mac friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And uh, I guess that's it. Stay high on Android, folks, and uh, just don't buy an iPhone.